I've been asked the question as a superintendent of Greater Grace International School, how can a Christian school accept so many non-Christian faiths into the classrooms? And doesn't this cause trouble? Doesn't this cause students to be at odds with each other? Well, let me answer this question like this. A Christian school is a place where truth is being sought. We're seeking truth in every class. And since truth is not easily hidden, it's not easily distorted, we are not intimidated or insecure to let other people of other persuasions come in into that search with us. All of our students, both Christian and non-Christian, are challenged to put their beliefs, their concepts about life on the table and put them to the test. In the end, Christian students have more solid understanding of what their faith really is and how it relates to the world around them, and the non-Christian students have defended their beliefs and possibly have accepted Christianity as the truth. This philosophical and spiritual crossfire is what makes GGIS one of the most unique, use, the most unique schools in the entire world. You won't find it anywhere. Either they're Christian, and all everybody's a Christian, or they're secular, or they're Islamic, etc., etc. But who rises to the challenge of saying, come one, come all, everybody come into our classrooms, and we are going to talk about the truth of spiritual issues? Oh, it's not a question. People who come to GGIS find the truth, they make it their own, and then they live on it. And we're blessed by that.